G'day all and welcome to the South African Lawn. Here look! So another video guys and the renovation continues. Okay and in today's episode here we're going to spike roll or aerate. I'm not going to call it aerate. However this area doesn't need a lot of aeration uh, because um, there's not a lot of traffic here. Also, I don't mow excessively here, so I don't get a lot of compaction. Uh, but today, we're going to spike roll it before we do our top dress in the last episode, or as the last part of our uh, renovation here, okay? Right, so we're also going to do like a proper, proper renovation on the inside of my yard, on that kukuhu, there where the dog is doing grootskade. Uh, but outside here, yeah, I had little plans, you know, I actually just wanted to sculpt to remove that stalk and thatch and whatnot. And then I just maybe wanted to add compost or something to amend the soil so that it grows healthy. But now things have changed a bit, so I'm going to spike roll today and then add either like topsoil or something. Um, so that's my plan here. Yeah. Scalp, uh, spike roll, top dress, and uh, that should be done. Uh, but today, spike rolling. Let's get, let's get into spike rolling. And I must say... I absolutely loved the scalping. It only took me about five hours of proper scalping, probably eight hours in total, to get all of this clippings away and all that. I absolutely, absolutely love it. My favorite part is the, is the, is the scalping. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what's what's cooking here. I'm not so lucky. Eh? Why? No, man, this, this renovation, it's... Uh, if it wasn't for this video, I would have never done this. Don't you enjoy the renovation? No, man, it's a bunch of... Who wants to go out there? It's, it's shit, man. You don't want to... Who wants to go out there, flip and cut the, the grass? It's flipping dust everywhere. I've been sneezing kukuyu clippings for the bloody last three days, man. Okay, so this is the thing that I shall be using, and it is a beastly, absolutely beastly thing. This, it must weigh, I don't know, at least a, like 80 or 100 kilograms. Please don't roll, roll all the way down there. So I borrowed this thing from my friend. Some of the tines are bent and I can fully understand that because this thing is just enormously heavy. I don't know how the hell I'm going to drag this thing all the way across this 80 squares. Whew. Man. Okay, so there's not much to this exercise. So basically you drag this thing over your lawn as much as you want. In compacted areas, make sure you put down a lot of water the day before. To before a lot of water so it actually softens up because it, a lot of the times what happen is these tines actually don't poke into the soil um so really on the compacted areas this is where this comes in handy so you want to make sure those areas that it doesn't want to poke into that it actually pokes into that area you can obviously water just before you do it um it just could get a little bit muddy or squishy uh but i think that's all there is to it and then this like this thing is so heavy you drag it for five minutes drink a coffee in the morning or if it's in the afternoon you drink a beer then you go at it for another five minutes let's do it here we go it is definitely penetrating This is no joke. This is no joke.
so while I take a breather, this thing is very, very heavy. Um, let's talk about the ups and downs. One of the pluses of this thing is it makes beautiful, beautiful holes in the soil. And let me just show you here with an example. Um, beautiful holes, approximately 80 or 100 mils apart. And that really will now allow water, air, nutrients, fertilizer. I, didn't, I don't know if you saw on that close up there, I did put fertilizer down now. Mary, did you put down fertilizer? Yes, I did. Um, so it will allow all those things to fall down into that hole. And also if we are mending our soil with like a 50-50 mix, all those good stuff, like the compost and organic matter will fall in there and amend that soil, which is beautiful for your soil and the health of your soil and the, like ultimately the growth of your plant. Another down is unfortunately, this thing is so heavy that it is extremely, extremely labor intensive, but that comes with a plus because your lighter ones stays on top of the soil if it's really compacted and then doesn't really achieve much. So you do get to add water in these things. They've got a hole normally there where you can add water in um, to make it heavier, but it is very labor intensive because it's so heavy. This is probably the heaviest one I've ever used. Um, and I'm like, this one is so heavy. I'm pretty sure these tines poke down all the way through and pop out there in China. So I'm pretty sure if I take a borehole pump and I chuck it down there, I'll be able to pump water from this tines, tines holes here. There you go. You've got to love, you've got to love doing this, not even exaggerating, this thing is slipping, maybe, I love every second of it, every second of the blood sweating tears, that's it guys, that's the lawn for you, that's the holes. Have a look there. Holds everywhere. So yeah, you can also do this with a garden fork. Um, however, it's not nearly as time effective as a roller. The garden fork will take you maybe three, four hours to do this 80 square meters. I kid you not, if you do it properly. Uh, whereas this roller took me now 15, 20 minutes of actual work and done. So a uh, garden fork, very effective. You can do it and achieve the same results as this. However, it does take a lot, a lot longer. Okay, Owens, so that's probably gonna wrap it up. Uh, that's probably the heaviest one I've ever had. Um, so that, you know, I don't think a woman will be able to do this. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned from what I've done here, the beginners, that's the purpose of spiking to get the good stuff down into the soil and also to break up compaction um, in the beginning of the season now september great time to do it or while you're doing renovations great time to do it so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and uh subscribe if you haven't already smash the like button hit the ding -a ling a ling so you get notified upon the arrival of a new video and i will see you in the next video which will probably be a lack of top dress here Okay guys, just for now, bye-bye. <laughs> Mary? Yes? Can you please stop crying? You've been crying for the last three I hours. I just can't stop crying. You know, it's a flipper who wants to roll around a bloody drum this big. It's the size of a bloody tank. Just to make holes in the lawn to amend the soil. <laughs> Okay, you want to do this, so stop being a baby and no, just finish the You know, food. nobody can grow grass. Not even the cuckoo can survive in that compacted soil. Now I have to drag that thing around, I've got flipping blisters on my hands. You're acting like a little baby. No, I'm not. And if you keep on going like this, I'm going to move back to my parents, okay? <laughs> Come here, come here, come here.